All right. Well, today we're going to talk about TLS verification for a certain domain that we're trying to reach or that domain is trying to send emails to us and uh, we just want to check TLS or we're facing problems. Uh, we know it has something to do with TLS. So we want to verify that. Or you were checking the mail logs and you got some TLS errors. So you want to verify if TLS, if, if, if the TLS uh, between your domain and your host and their host is uh, working fine or not, or if they have TLS working on them or not. So you can verify it using a, a CLI command from the ESA. But before that, I would just like to tell you one thing a couple of things about the TLS. Now, if, if you want to use TLS, you got to have X.509 certificate on your ESA. It, it can be used for receiving and delivery as well. So receiving as well as delivery or just receiving or just delivery. You can use the certificate in whatever way you want in, in terms of the context that I, that I just mentioned, right? Now, apart from this, you want to check the list of certificates. You can check from the CLI or the GUI as well. And I'm not going to go into that because uh, now I, I just want, I want to talk about the verification of TLS and that specific command in the ESA in this case. All right. There's a demo certificate as well. You might have seen uh, a warning for this. Well, usually uh, it is seen when you're using the demo certificate on any of the interfaces or, you know, uh, LDAP destination controls and so on but anyways let's talk about the command so i'm going to talk about this uh, when you run a tl and then press the tab key it's going to auto complete to tls verify this is the command you hit enter it talks about the domain you want to verify against so let's say in this case i want to talk about cisco.com all right now it's going to ask me uh, for a couple of uh, a couple more pieces of information with, which i can fetch uh, let's say for example cisco.com now it's asking me for the domain uh, for the destination host so this was the domain now this is the destination host the destination host hosts this domain that i'm talking about so here i have to mention the destination hosts that uh, hosts cisco.com if I don't know if i don't know about that what i can do is i can do an ns lookup and i can do a cisco.com i can do mx it gives me all these results so i can use uh one of these or all of these one by one well they look uh they are kind of similar but the first part is different so this is the host right now if i want to check uh, the a record for this i can do an ns lookup on this as well and get that information like like getting an ip address so i can just copy this right here and i can say ns lookup and i'm going to say for this one i hit enter and get a, get the ip address that i should be dealing with right so it's as simple as that so i can run the tls verify command again and now i'm going to say cisco.com and let's say i want to check the destination host in this case i'm going to give this ip address right okay so i just paste that ip address here and it also talks about appending the port if you're not using 25 let's say you're using some other port in that case you'll have to append the port after the colon so let's say you say 587 right after this with the colon right all right you hit enter that's pretty much it it tells you about the verification and whatnot and you see if you uh if it's working fine and everything's good it tells tls connection to this succeeded the tls uh, certificate has been verified as well i don't know why i'm why do i always go from bottom to top anyways so <laughs> yeah it's quite clear right you see right there so tls successfully connected to so and so and tls verification completed like literally that's it you can run it for every other domain and this is an extremely um you know useful command when it comes to uh resolving issues related to tls it gives you tons of information here as well tls connection established the protocol that is being used well sometimes you see that you're using tls 1.1 uh, or the other side does not support uh, so and so and uh, you get that information here right and the cipher as well well um you can do a uh, pcap as well in case you don't get anything from here i've discussed pcaps in a separate video before um you can take a look at that and uh yeah well do let me know in the comment section if uh if in case uh you want me to talk about any other topics apart from this one and then again it tells you you want to do it for other domains as well no hit enter that's it all right i hope this was helpful thank you so much for your time
guys have a great day ahead and goodbye. Thank you.